Shopper special. Mm, nice dress, Jessica. You too, Laura. I must have told a hundred girls how good they look in that outfit. Oh, I think she's waiting for Chip. Oh, leave it alone. Oh, come on. She's a dweeb. Why do you bother with Chip Wright? I don't. He's not like those other jerks. Does he know about this crush? Don't be dumb. What are you and your mom buying? Sweaters. You're lucky. You get to pick out all your own clothes. I wouldn't mind. What? Did your mom ever talk to you about stuff like that? Sweaters? Crushes. Oh, yeah. Like when she had them back then, during the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think about that? A wishing well. Can we get away with it without looking too dorky? Well, it's a freebie. I heard you're in the Christmas play. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of hope. You should do it. Really? Half the kids think you're stuck up, and the other half think you're weird. You think I care about what they think? I mean, look, am I caring? So, which half are you? You think I'm stuck up or weird? Weird. <laughs> Chores. One free wish, it says. Can you get a certificate? I guess. Who's still? Bye. Bye. Am I supposed to turn this into you? Turn what in, dear? This box. This wish. There's nothing there. But there was a... Oh, this. Oh, yes, this entitles you to a free wish. It certainly does. Did I drop this card? Well, I pick up litter everywhere. I suggest we all do. Well, I can only suggest. Oh, that's not mine. Oh, well, I know it, but it's still there. What's this value of this wish I'm supposed to make? I mean, like a dollar, five dollars? Oh, no, it's much less than that. See, it says one free wish. 
What do you want the most for the holiday season? That. What? That's what I want. These clothes? No. The dog? No, never mind. Oh, no, please, Jessica. Please, tell me. How do you know my name? The mom. To be with, shop with, all the holiday things, other kids. I never told that to anybody. Your mom moved away when you're only three years old. No, when I was three. She died. Well, that's what I meant. I mean, people are always traveling somewhere. Some trips we plan for, and some trips just take us by surprise. All right, you want a mom for the holidays, starting from tonight at midnight until midnight Christmas Eve, right? But first, put that on. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. How'd you know my name? And about my mother? Oh, honey. You are an ocean of feelings. I heard you before you spoke. I hear wishing. Hi, Jess. I get a fax? Come in now. Mail? Thanks. Good, bad, medium day? Low to medium for me. You? Yeah, same. For your information, Miss Smarty, I have already purchased one of your Christmas presents. Give me a small hint. <laughs> Ooh, several shares of an up-and-coming electronics firm that I've been watching. Dad. <laughs> so, uh, what was I supposed to guess? Nothing. The new housekeeper had to leave. She can't come every day. Right. Well, looks like it's just you and me, kid. What do you think, Mr. Morelli? I, I guess if you buy into that kind of thing, you know, it's... What do you buy into? Experience. Live and learn. School of hard knocks. <laughs> you know, the glass is half empty. Oh. These boxes... They're empty, too. This 
little smile is painted on. In two weeks from tomorrow, it'll just be another Tuesday. There's an empty cup on the counter behind you, Mr. Morelli. Yeah? Ain't mine. I know, but there it is. Sounds like this storm is right on our roof. You want some milk or something? No, thanks. Company? Know any good stories? Know any clean jokes? <laughs> Tell me about the three of us. Oh, Jess, we've been all over that already. Oh, just one thing. So. <laughs> well, one thing. Your mother had the knack for finding things. It didn't matter what was lost. She had a sixth, sixth sense. sense. Especially about you. I remember one day, we hadn't heard you playing or laughing or singing for a long time. And she suddenly sat up and I said, what? She said, Jessica's, Jessica's under, under the, the bed. bed. And so we got up and went into your room and there you were fast asleep under your bed. Now other parents might have gotten into a panic and gone around looking for you, but she, she knew. knew. Can you believe this storm? Hey, what is that? Oh. That's my free wish. Who could that be? It's midnight. Midnight. Midnight! Dad! Dad! Just a minute. Hi. Sorry I'm so late, but the storm. I'm here about the ad. Ad? Yeah, uh, room and board and exchange for afternoon and evening child care. This must be the child. Hi. Nice pajamas I've seen those on sale. Uh, I'm Jim, and this is Jessica. I thought about placing an ad, but I never... Did you, Jess? Oh, nice house. No music. Oh, maybe you did put the ad in and forgot. I'll take that coat. Oh, they've never been rained on before. I was once stuck on a loading dock in three days in the snow. May I sit? Oh, of course. Oh, look at that. When you sit down, everything wrinkles. Not sure I like that. Jessica, don't stare, honey. Uh, so your your car broke down, Miss Amy. Amy uh, Miller. No, um, I walked here from the store. I mean the bus. I uh, I have the name of a motel here in case the position is filled. I did all that. Mm. Uh, so you have no friends or 
family here in town? No, I'm just starting out. Job hunting, that is, as of tomorrow. For something part-time. I just need a place to stay. I could work an early shift and still be here for Jessica and uh, maybe do some cooking. As long as you have an empty bed. Well, Dad, there is some room over the garage. I hate to cause trouble, but it's very late and I... No, 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 no trouble. Uh, well, we haven't used the place in... I just need a warm, dry place before I dissolve. Well, why not? I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so grateful. He's nice. Isn't he nice? I said I came here from the store. Amy, how do you feel? Excited? <sighs> Me too. It'll just be our secret, won't it? Yes, and Phil's. Oh, Philomena, yeah! And my friends at the store. Your friends? You mean there are so, others? Uh, what, uh, what kind of a job will you be looking for? Oh, selling clothes at Milliman's department store. I hear they need holiday help. Oh, is this my hair? How do you keep it in place without tape? <laughs> uh, selling clothes. Uh, really, I, 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 I would have thought that you would have been more, you know, I don't know. Oh, well, uh, I have done some modeling. See, I knew it. I know it. Yeah, a lot of people think that there's, you know, not very much to modeling other than, you know, being beautiful and being able to pose well, but uh, well, I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that. Hmm? Like what? Uh, why, why don't we go take a look at that room? Oops, sorry. I'm always just pinned together. Like her? Yeah. Me too. After all of five minutes. Hey, the rain's done. It's gonna clear up. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. Dad, Amy made breakfast. No, I I'd enjoy sleep so much. I mean, you just lie there. Chicken noodle. Uh, is there any uh, coffee? Coffee? No, but I could cook some. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just. Uh... Well, Jess, you look different. You look great. Thanks. Amy, help me get ready. Ta-da! I swear, Jess is more grown up every time I look at her. Oh? How often do you look at her? Well, I mean, I... How's your breakfast? Hmm. What? I see it all the time. Fathers are always coming into the store exchanging clothes they bought for their daughters. She's bigger than I thought, they say. She's older than I realized. I wonder if they're really looking. The mothers are, though. The women, they're always measuring and watching. Men are too busy, I guess. Hello. Yes? You better be going. Yes, I'll, I'll hold. You two have fun. We'll clean up later. Okay. Right. <gasps> oh, look at me. No time. Skin is so hard to deal with, you know, it just budges and wrinkles and 
Make sure you want to iron it. Come on, Jess. Bye. Bye, Dad. You've got a missing dummy. Mannequin, Mr. Morelli. And an expensive outfit right down to the shoes. Other things unaccounted for are a suitcase, underclothes, several missing books. But it's the mannequin itself that bothers me. Don't worry, Milliman. I'm on vacation from the force, so right now they've got my full attention. Who? The shoplifters, the purse snatchers, all the punks who come out of the woodwork on Christmas. We'll take care of it. So, who's still a dummy, huh? Is that why you moonlight like these security jobs, Sarge? The rise in crime? Right, kid. That and the alimony. Oh, isn't it great to be outside? Isn't yeah. that makeup okay? Yeah. Oh, you know that scarf really is just too much with that outfit. What? I beg your pardon. I was just trying to help. Philomena says we should always do what we can. Amy! <laughs> do you know her? No, we haven't met. The window people kind of stick together, though. At least inside we get to move around a little. You do? Yeah, two hours at a time when we're alone. know him. He's a bit stuck up. Hi, Betty. Looks better on me, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> she's scatterbrained, but she's got a good heart. Now, Wilkins. Wilkins is a joy, but all he talks about is cars, cars, cars. This is Wilkins. Hi. Not a spark there. Oh, gives me the chills. Come on, let's go. What about the Indian Square? Yeah, they're fine. The girls are taking care of them. Hey, girls. This is Jessica. Oh, relax. This is definitely the best store in town. Right. I'm sure there are a lot of cute guys out there, but they all come in here eventually. Oh, how old are you, Jess? I'm... 11. I've got to go to personnel now. You be okay? Yeah. Amy Miller.
Hi, Linda. Hey, Skirt. I just want to say that I'm sorry for borrowing your friend Amy, but the girls will take good care of you. Oh, my name's Jessica. Hi, little doggy. Hi, Hi Squirt. <laughs> Talking to mannequins, huh, Jessica? <coughs> mm. Baby, maybe we can go out sometime. You can just walk off the earth. You can just... <laughs> <laughs> Fill in your age. Oh, I'm eight. I mean, 28? I meant eight years' experience. Oh, yes. And mostly in lingerie. And how did you find that experience? Chilly. Well, I'm sorry that you can only join us during the holidays. Oh, me too. But my time is limited. Hey, What's her name? Amy Miller, honey. You ever worked in the shoe department by any chance? For 12 years. If you had to judge the size of those pretty little... Oh, eight or nine. Thanks, Bill. What's it all about? If the shoe fits. from his meeting, and tomorrow we'll... Oh? Hmm. Hello? Hi, Steph. Bad news. My mom has a virus or something, so she won't be able to take us tree shopping. Oh, no. We don't have another way to get there. I'm sorry. I'm kind of taking care of her. Fixing dinner. Yeah. I hope she's better. <sighs> Steph's mom can't make it. We can charge a Christmas tree, but I don't have enough money for the cab, so maybe you could just... I'm sorry, Jess. I only have 89 cents. 89 cents? My first paycheck's gone already. You know, I'm secretly paying back millimans for my clothes and makeup. <sighs> it isn't supposed to be this way. Got an idea. Less of us. But what do you mean? Replacements. What happens to the... Come on. Wilkins. Wilkins. Evening. <laughs> Wilkins, we need you to drive us somewhere. Loading bay's open, and don't worry, we'll get you back on time. They put a lot of displays in the way since they parked me here. Oh, you can do it. <gasps> oh, this is Jessica. Hello there. Purrs like a cat. Drives like a dream. <sighs> Sorry. Wilkins! No! Sorry. Knows what he's doing! <laughs> Whoa! Not the makeup! Sorry. Not my station! Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Betty. Sorry. 
mess. Don't worry, Philomena will fix it. Wilkins, quiet. Original horn. Wilkins, is something wrong? Original wasp boat wheels. What is it? Huh. No guess. Are you? Some car. Nineteen sixty one Jaguar. Drives like a dream. Can you charge a guess to Mr. Slocum, my dad? Not without his card. Original wall spoke wheels. Look, just five dollars. Sorry. Excuse me. This is kind of an emergency, and we don't have any cash, but I do have a bracelet here worth well over five dollars. And I got this bracelet you could have as well. Here, for packing things. No, thank you. <laughs> Twin overhead camshafts. Wilkins. All right. It's my treat. Thank you. Regional gas tank. 24 miles to the gallon. Purrs like a cat. Drives like a drone. Wilkins, will you please watch where you're going? Oh, sorry. How much further is it to the Christmas tree lot? Because Wilkins doesn't have a lot of time. Not far. We'll get a small tree. Dad says there's less fuss. Why not fuss? It's Christmas. Original valve radio. Wilkins? Sorry. I broke a nail. Thank you, Wilkins. Quite welcome. Cheery, ho. Huh? Can you make it back all right? Dreams like a cat. Purrs like a drive. Uh-oh. His fingers fell hard. Hurry, Wilkins. Now all we have to do is get it inside. Okay. Got it? Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, got it? Careful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. Here we go. Watch behind you. Okay. Two. Okay, I am. Are you okay? Yeah. Right, lift it up. Okay. Uh, get it? Yeah. Oh. Careful. Okay. Here we go. Real mad. Oh, she's very pretty, like you. Her name was Vicky. I wish I could remember her. Jess, where are all the photos of you? Well, that's me. I'm in those. Yes, but they're all when you were a baby. There's, there's none of you since you grew up. What do we tell Dad about this picture? The truth. Always the truth. Now, the decorations. Look at this. Where'd you get this? Millimans. I get all my books at Millimans. <laughs> you get everything out of a book? Isn't this a beautiful tree? We don't have a lot of this stuff. Then we'll improvise. Hey guys, 
them home. Close your eyes. No peeking. Okay. Now. Happy holidays. Wow. Jessica made it. Wait! A toast. You first, Dad. Um, to a great tree. And to a beautiful holiday guest. To wishing. <sighs> to a Christmas we'll never forget. Oh, fax coming in. No way! Leave it! It's my turn! Well, you're lucky. It was only the one room. Only the one room? There was a lifetime in this room. There was... Are you sure you don't want me to call the store and stay home and help? No. I'll help them. I don't have to go to school today anyway. It's just last day, so I'll just... No. I want to be alone with this. Stay home and help you out with it. No, go to school. How about I make breakfast? I'm not hungry. Well, just if you've gone to school, let me fix your hair. My hair is fine. If we can pull it back, you know, into that nice braid that you like. My hair is fine. Well, then, uh, let's practice your poem for the play. We can go in there. Why? So that you'll be ready. Why do you want to help me and do things for me? Because it's in your books? No, Jess. Because I care. You care how I look? You care how you look? What do you do now since your books are all burned? You don't want some gazpacho? No! Oh, okay. Hi, 
Jim? Hi. I don't think you realize what's been lost. I never hear you talk about your past. Past? Oh, past is gone, isn't it? Future is unpredictable. All we really have is this minute. Oops, it's gone. Now all we have is this minute. I really need to make the most of them. And your family? Truth is, um, I don't have any family. Not one living soul. Except now, I have Jessica. I like to do what I can for her. She really needs somebody. She has somebody. She has her father. Then why did her father stop taking pictures of her eight years ago? Eight years ago? Her mother died eight years ago. I know that. Is that when you stop listening to your daughter and looking at her? You have no right to say that to me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very fuzzy on what my rights are. I had very little orientation. Waited for you at school. I left early. Sorry, Dad. Mrs. Garcia tells me you come here a lot. Why, Jess? Just uh, I don't know. Come on, honey, you can tell me. I come here and I watch the people shopping. Watch the girls with their families. With their mothers. Yes. I'm okay, Dad. I know you are. But I've been away for a long, long time. I've got a surprise for you, Jess. Go on in. I hope this cheers her up. Hi. Hi. 